so to, in this video we are going to see about uh, the simulation of uh, simulation by using xelenix software so here uh, uh, i have installed uh, uh, xelenix 14.2 so this uh, i mean procedure is common for all versions that is uh, 12.2 or any versions okay so now i am going to explain the simulation procedure so how to execute the program in xelenix 14.2 i software uh, 14.2 software so i am going to click double click on this isc design suite 14.2 so after clicking uh, on this it will display like this and i just give okay button okay so now uh, we are going to uh, we are going to create one new project so for that purpose go to file new project and you can choose the location so where you have to store your uh, i mean uh, project so you can choose any location so now i am going to choose the location as uh, for example i am going to in the c drive or any drive so here i am going to use the xelenix okay so i am going to give the project name so any name for example i am going to give the uh, project name as design any user defined name you can give and uh, give next so here so in this uh, uh, project uh, settings okay if you want to implement if you want to implement your logic design in any fega kit you have to choose this family device package and all okay so this is very very important so whatever the kit you are having in your uh, uh, in your hand so based on that you have to choose the family so here attix family is there automated spartan 3 so may i mean all fega families are there here okay so based on that uh, you just uh, uh, i mean uh, select your i mean uh, family and uh, also corresponding device and package speed okay so after the after choosing this family uh, here uh, the simulator so simulator also very very important so here the inbuilt simulator is there that is isim psdl verilog uh, simulator okay you can uh, choose this isim uh, simulator so if isim simulator is not there means if you are having a model sim means you just uh, use model sim simulator also so here the inbuilt um, i mean simulator is there that is i uh, sim vhdl very lab so i am uh, using uh, that one and here preferred language so already uh, we know that uh, i mean uh, the digital designs okay in vlsi uh, the uh, digital designs can be uh, designed uh, uh, i mean pro program can be analyzed in uh, two uh, different types of programs one is verilog and vsdl so here verilog and vsdl so here um, i am going to use the vsdl programming so here the preferred language you have to use that is vsdl then give next then finish now so whatever the project you have uh, designed so that is appears here so this is the design design name i have given now so that design and uh, family device everything is displayed in the left uh, side of your i mean window okay so now the, uh, the project um, uh, is created uh, now i am going to give the project new source i am going to write the program so here the program so after uh, giving uh, new source that is project new source so this new source wizard is uh, displayed over here in this so what are the i mean module you are going to uh, write so here i am going to write the vsdl module so if you want to write verilog module you just choose verilog module so if you want to write the program in vsdl module means you just choose uh, vsdl module give file name so file name i am going to give any file name uh, for example uh, first first program okay so whatever the name you are going to give you, just, you can give the any name okay so next so here the the port names so here the port names indicates so whatever the design you are going to do okay for example if half adder or uh, full adder or basic gates so whatever the design you are going to do in your uh, simulation so that input and output ports you have to declare over here okay so now i am going to uh, uh, give this small uh, uh, program okay i am going to execute this small uh, program that is half adder so here half adder consists of two inputs that is a and b okay and the uh, two outputs that is sum and uh, carry so carry you just uh, use this one so here a b indicates what input so here the three modes of operation are there in mode or out mode or in out mode. so you just based on your program or uh, design you just uh, choose the direction so here some some will act as output so i am uh, change, uh, changing that uh, mode as what out mode and similarly carry also 
uh, that is out that is out mode okay remaining the two inputs e and b are what in mode give next so here it will display okay it will display so whatever the pins you have uh, used that is a in mode b in mode some uh, some out mode carry out mode so if if uh, these pins are not i mean uh, correct you can uh, if uh, uh, you just uh, choose the i mean corresponding pins okay so so if the uh, the corresponding pins are uh, i mean uh, correct then give finish okay now now so here uh, see here here the first uh, i mean uh, vhl that is the uh, file name file name uh, is uh, displayed over here that is new source file name is uh, displayed over here and whatever the variable i have uh, used okay so that is a and b some and everything is uh, displayed in the in this uh, i mean uh, program itself so this, is, this is the speciality of what xilinx software so if you uh, if you uh, assimilate by using model sim you have to write all this okay that is library declaration entity entity declaration architecture declaration everything you have to type in the model sim so in xilinx automatically all this library section entity section architecture section will be displayed over here automatically okay now now i am going to uh, write the program this program can be written after begin statement see here so architecture behavior of first is begin so after begin statement you have to write the program so this program can be written in uh, uh, three levels of modeling one is data flow level modeling behavior level modeling and structural level modeling now i am going to write the uh, basic um, uh, program uh, that is basic off order program by using i mean uh, Uh, data flow level model that is using operators so for that purpose we know that these uh, some expression for uh, off order uh, off order indicates so sum is equal to a x or b and carry is equal to a and b so for that purpose i am going to write here sum so sum so here whatever the variable you are using now so that you have to write here so sum less than equal to here less than equal to is signal assignment operator in vsd okay so here a Uh, a and a x or b okay so this is the i mean uh, logical equation for sum expression so sum less than or equal to a x or b and uh, and carry carry so whatever the variable here here the variable is what cy cy less than equal to a and a and b okay so this is the program for off adder okay so i have whatever the program i have designed so that um, i have uh, typed over here okay so this is the program is over now the program uh, uh, writing is over i have to uh, i want to check whether the program is correct or not okay so for that purpose you just give next option is save so after saving is over here in the left hand side window you are having Uh, in the process process list so here a source this this uh, this part is source list and this part is uh, process list in process list you are having different uh, i mean uh, uh, options in that synthesize xst is there so synthesize xst you just expand the synthesize xst and use check syntax see check syntax double click on it check syntax running once the program is running see here so check syntax completed successfully it will display over here okay so check syntax okay this is if if it is green tick if it is green tick there is no error in your program now i am going to show the error okay for example i am going to uh, i mean uh, i am going to remove the semicolon i am going to save this program again i am going to check see here error automatically is displayed line number 45 line number syntax error near end uh, so okay so uh, the error uh, automatically displayed over here and in the i mean error window so now i am going to again i am going to give the uh, semicolon save option okay now again check syntax so on double click on this uh, check syntax you will get check syntax completed successfully that is green tick if green tick means so there is no error in your program okay now the uh, uh, i mean uh, checking of your program is uh, over now we, we want to see the simulation so whether the uh, this design working under proper condition or not that you have to see right so for that purpose so here you just select this one and go to here here implementation is there and simulation is there so implementation and simulation you just click on simulation 
click on simulation and you just select select whatever the name you have given that is first so you just select here and here in the process window isim simulator so just expand that isim simulator and in that simulate behavior model is there that simulate behavior model is there you just double click on that uh, simulate behavior model So after uh, double click on it, it is going to run the simulation. That is the elaboration, everything. So it will display. It will uh, display like this. Okay. For example, uh, if uh, any, I mean, uh, uh, any, I mean, uh, uh, antivirus is there means you just uh, disable uh, at once. Sometimes it, it is not going to allow. Hello. It is not going to allow this um, simulation window. So for that purpose, I am going to disable the antivirus. Now I am going to again go to process statement and I am going to uh, double click on it. You will get uh, like this new window, okay, default. So in this case here, whatever the uh, variables, uh, input variables you, are, you have given, that is the input variables A and B and uh, someone carry an output. So that, um, I mean, uh, entity declaration, whatever the variables you have assigned in entity variables, for the logic design that will be displayed over here then you just right click on it okay select the particular uh, uh, i mean uh, input and right click on it right click on it then force constant force constant here uh, you, you can give binary so binary numbers as well for example one zero so here i am going to give the one apply okay similarly b so i am going to give the b constant so i am going to give here zero uh, apply okay now the input is uh, feeded over here and you just uh, uh, give the run uh, command simulation run okay so see here so for this input so input one and zero so one zero means sum is one and carries it so if you want to change if you want to change uh, the uh, i mean inputs input combinations again you go to i mean uh, for uh, same variable force constant and give input as zero apply okay and similarly for b force constant then input as one apply okay now again simulation run okay so if you want to see this one you just uh, the minus button is there now so there is the minimize button okay okay now you just see see here so here one zero one zero means sum is one and carry is zero here zero one if, if it is zero one so sum is one and carry zero again if you want to change you just uh, change the again force constant and for example i'm going to give you here one uh, one okay i i'm going to retain retain the b value as one okay so now i'm going to check again simulation run see here so here uh, input a is one and input b is input a input a is one input b is one and sum is zero and carries one. so this is the uh, output waveform for your uh, off adder now the uh, circuit is working under proper condition okay so this is the basic simulation procedure for uh, in the basic simulation procedure for designing any i mean vsdl program by using xilinux software okay thank you